Hey kids, welcome to today's class. I am so happy you guys are back. And today I have a very exciting painting which is inspired by one of the movies called Up. In this movie, there's a flying house and there's a lot of adventures that happens. So I would really like you all to paint this house and then go back and watch that movie. Tell your parents to watch that movie and I'm also putting in a trailer of that movie under the description. You guys can quickly check that out as well. So let's have this fun session together. Before that, let me also show you the stars of our last week who has submitted their paintings and let's see who they are. This is Ria. Ria is from US and she has made her sister, herself and her mama. This is Divya. Divya has made her mama and herself. This is Ryan and Ayan. They are brothers and they have tried to make their mama, papa and themselves. This is Lassia. She has tried her three sisters and herself. In fact, mama and her three sisters. This is Sneha. She had submitted this painting last week and I will be putting in the link on the top to check that video out. This is submitted by Adya. She has made her mama and herself. And this is a submission by Simra. She has made a like she has made a boy, a girl, and her mama. This is Sneha, and she has made her mama and herself. And this is Shirin. She has made the first painting video, which is for the sea turtles. I'll be putting in the link on the top to check it out. And this is Simra, who has made the Mother's Day painting again. I will also be putting the link on the top for your reference. And Sneha again, she has sketched the drawing part, mama, boy and girl. And this is Ayan's painting for the Mother's Day. And this is a submission from US. And this is Ryan. Again, the Mother's Day painting. So kids, y'all submission or you guys are submitting this and making me so happy. And I'm so proud of all of y'all. You guys are doing a great job, okay? Keep doing it, have patience and keep coloring and enjoying the time, okay? So let's start today with today's fun tutorial. So this will be a flying house and there will be a lot of balloons and very easy to do painting, okay? So for that, I'll first be teaching you how to make a house and some stripes on it and I have painted this house brown as in the movie and this is the bottom of this house which is dark color because the house is flying so all we can see is the bottom of the house which is all with mud and the doors and the windows are up top and with that there will be a lot of balloons coming out of the chimney so we will make that together okay so without waiting let's get started also i have also done two hearts so what you all can do is once this painting is over you can put this painting on your main door so that anybody who is passing by would be feeling happy looking at these balloons with so many colors on it okay we want to make everybody feel happy during this time all right so let's do it together All right, let's begin. So get a book, a scale or a ruler, a pencil and your eraser. So remember, the first thing that we always do is we learn our shapes because we use these shapes later to make our painting. Okay, so I've made a line and 
made a space on the top of the page and let's learn how to make a circle a line a wobbly line a square a rectangle a triangle and I'm thinking what to make next let's make a teardrop so one edge will be pointy and the other would be like a circle like a balloon shape because we will need this balloon shape to make our balloons okay so practice this make it perfect and few lines because we'll be needing it to make the threads so let's proceed I'm making two different sections by dividing the space into two And in the first section, let's make the first house. Making house is very easy. For that, first you have to do is to make a triangle. And let's make the ground first. So a triangle and with the same base of the triangle, we'll make a rectangle. So see, the shape is now a rectangle. Okay. Now extend the middle line and following the middle line let's make another line on the top and close it out it will form another rectangle a slanting rectangle and now put the line back to make it a square so we have a rectangle a rectangle a triangle and a square and that forms a house easy peasy okay now let's make a big and a better house so a triangle again, a rectangle on the ground, extend the line, go down and make the square, extend the line and extend the slant to make a rectangle and here forms our house. Now. We will be extending this house with some more peaks. So make another triangle, extend the line and make a rectangle. So that forms the extended building. One on this side as well. So a triangle, the line that goes down and forms a rectangle and let's make a chimney so two lines with a circle on the top easy now let's make some stripes so you can check out the stripes you have on your buildings so we are making similar stripes on the top Alright, so the stripes are done. On the other side too. So our stripes are done. Let's make the window. So let's make a circle. You can make a square here. I'm making the window rectangle shape. Let's make the middle slides. And now a door, main door. Let's make a door knob, circle. Let's make a curvy top, like a dome. So our main house is done. For the extended 
rooms let's make just the windows All right, so our beautiful house is done with stripes, rectangles and triangle. Hope this was very easy for you to follow. Now, let's make one more. So I'm making another box here to make that one. So in this box, let's learn how to make the balloon. So I'll make few teardrops first. So one, two, three. Now from that, let's make one more like this, which will show that one is behind the first one. So at the back, so only half of it will be out. And below that, let's make one more. Let's make one more that will show that one is behind. Do not complete the back circle, okay? Just few parts will be peeking out. Okay, like this. And let's make the thread now. So few thread will be coming in front of the other balloons, few will come from the back side. So the front will be visible, the back will be not. Like this one. Alright, so our bunch of balloons are ready. Once you color it, it is good to go. So we will be making a house in our final picture and these kind of balloons, a lot of them. Okay. So at this point kids, let's take a break, get some snacks, have some water and then come back to me and join me to make the sketching on the final drawing book and then we will start painting. See you soon. Hey kids, welcome back. So I hope you have your final drawing book ready. You have your pencil and let's start sketching. So the first thing we will draw here is the bottom of the house. Okay, so for the bottom, it's a different shape than what we have done before, but let me teach you what to do. So we'll do a straight line. We will make a slight curve and then we will do a straight line at the bottom. So there will be a straight line with a curve edge and straight line at the bottom. We will follow the same thing. So this house is supposed to be small, okay? So make the proportions as in half of the page and half of that. So one fourth of the space will have this, uh, this house. So these are the points. So one, two, three, four, five, five points we have to make. And then let's do a triangle. We will not join this triangle. Let's make another triangle. So basically we are looking at the house from a side point of view, okay? So the shape is a little different. And now the chimney. Now let's make some windows. and the door. So kids at this point if you're not able to follow this make a regular house that you make. Okay no problem with that. 
you don't have to make the flying house just make a normal house on the ground and then make the chimney and the balloons so I'm making all these windows so this is the bottom the top and the very top of the sh uh, roof and now there will be a lot of balloons coming out of this chimney so let's start making the balloons so I'm starting from here the first one the second one third fourth and the fifth now with some distance I will be filling in the balloons that are sh to be seen from the front make some so kids this will take time to color okay so have patience color it and then display it on your main door and trust me once it's ready it will look very beautiful with so many colors on it will have will bring a smile on everyone's face that I can promise okay so keep doing it so I filled in the first layer of the balloons So this is just the first layer. Now we have to make the balloons that are at the back. So only half of them will be peeking out. But I'm still filling up few more balloons in the front because there's a lot of gaps. Keep filling. So teardrop shape with a pointy edge. How a balloon looks like that. It would be so much fun if we actually get so many balloons in real. <laughs> so, I have tried to fill in the first layer. Now we will proceed towards making the second layer. So from the side, just half of it is peeking out. So a little pointy edge and a little curve. Keep filling. So these balloons can be as dense as you want or you can make it very like with a lot of gaps and few of them I am making it small because I want a lot many if you want you can make these balloons a little big so that in small like your area is covered quickly with few balloons but if you do it like how I am doing the end result will come out exactly like it's in the movie so it's up to you Keep filling. So 
so kids I will be using watercolor to make this painting but as the there is a lot of balloons I would really like you all to use your sketch pens to make these balloons okay it will be very easy for you all to color so I'll teach you what all colors we would need you can use those and for the background I'm using watercolor you can use your blue crayon for the sky and quick uh, sketch pen for the house so that way mix and match you'll be able to achieve this with watercolors also you can do it it's absolutely up to you what you like okay so our balloons are filled in now we will the last thing will be the threads okay but we will not be making the thread now that will be the last thing we will make directly with our pen so the entire sketch is done now the first thing we always do is we'll make the sky so with blue color I'm filling in the entire canvas blue is a light color so if I go over the balloons still I'll be able to color the balloons with any other bright color so let's do this And remember, we always do our strokes in one direction. So I'm doing it straight, no zigzaggy, okay? Straight. Smooth it out. Alright, so our blue color is almost done. You can do this blue color with the help of your crayons, okay? So use the color of your choice. Kids, you can see Auntie's painting is not very smooth. This is not because of coloring, but just because of canvas. I'm reusing my canvas. That's the reason. So now we'll first do the base of the house. So the base, that means if your building is uprooted, there will be a lot of mud at the bottom, right? So for those muddy kind of bottom I'll be taking dark brown so I've mixed in a little of black onto the brown and that will be the bottom of the building as my house is flying if you are making a simple house you will not do this step you will directly color your house At this point, I'm so excited to think about what you guys will be making. So do share your artwork with me, okay? Tell mama or daddy to just send me an email or just send me a WhatsApp message or on my Facebook page, send me your sketch that you have done and I'll be waiting to see those, okay? So the bottom is almost done. And now I will proceed in making the top part. So I'm just smoothing it out. And for the top part, I'm mixing a little of brown with some yellow to make it a light yellow color as it was shown on the movie. 
you can make the house gray black or any other color that you want so leaving the windows I will be coloring the entire thing yellowish brown All right, so our first house peak is done. Let's connect the walls and let's make the second part now. The second triangle of the house. Kids do it very gently, okay? Always follow that it has to be inside the lines, no going outside. So with a lot of patience, sit quietly and do this. So there's also one more window. So I'm drawing it, I had forgotten to draw it. So I'll draw that and then let's color. Once the coloring's done, we will then proceed to color the walls at the bottom. For that, I have mixed in a little more of brown to give a difference of shade. And just leave the window part, the door parts and color the rest of them. So kids, do you see that the windows are still blue in color? That means the sky can be seen. So what we will do is we will later paint it white so that the house has a white glass on it. Okay. So quickly color this part. Do it with sketch pen or with watercolor, whatever you have. And let's complete it. Putting in the white color now, I have used the same brush so it's looking a little brown so I'll mix in more of white and do the entire thing white. So 
kids right now we are only placing the colors okay into the boxes later with the help of a pen we will be creating designs on it so then the house will look very pretty so right now only place the colors in each of the boxes and the shapes that you have made and then we will go to the detailing part which is the design part So now I have taken the pen. This is a very thin ballpoint black color pen and now I am starting to outline it. So follow your pencil marks and outline it. Okay, we have forgotten to color the chimney. <laughs> Let's do that part. So I've taken a simple brown color and I'm just following it. Leave the circle part and do the rest of them. And now back with the pen. So make the walls and make the tiles and Create it. So I'm following my pencil marks that I have done and following the pencil marks for the window, for the door, and the top window. And the door. Okay, so once the outline is done, we will now be making the inside designs. So I'm just once more doing it thick and this is the window. So the middle part is the window shutter. Remember how we have on our windows these kind of shutter, the same we are doing it here. So outline it thick. So you can actually use your thick sketch pen to do this part. So the windows are done. And now let's do the shading of our walls and of the roof. As I've used a ball pen, a thin point, I'm underlining it once again to make it thick. If you use a sketch pen, you will not be needing this part. Now, let's put some designs. So I'm just doing straight lines at the bottom and then horizontal lines. So it forms like small square boxes at the bottom. So this is basically at the mud area as the house is flying. And now I'm making few stripes to give it a pattern on the roof. Also on the chimney, on the roof again, and on the outside of the house. Don't go over the door, okay? Just the outside part. Mm -hmm. 
all right so the wall is done let's make the design for the door so i'm just thinking whether to do a knob or a different design as it's a big door let me do a different design so i've made a v and a straight line and two handles all right so the door is done now let's go ahead and start coloring the balloons for this i have taken yellow green orange blue pink and red and if you are not using watercolor you can just pick up your sketch pens and do this very quickly okay so with pink i'm starting the first balloon so remember how we had drawn it we had picked up few balloons here and there and then we shaped up the rest as per the first one so like that way just make few here and there pink balloons and then yellow then the rest of the color so this will have a mix and match effect on all of our balloons So our pink part is almost done. We will now just check if all of the pink balloons are placed at the right distance from each other. If not, just fill in few more with the pink ones as I'm doing. So kids, as you are making this, let me also tell you that as you enjoy the painting every Saturday, I would love you to share this particular video with your friends so that even they can join you in the painting session and they can also share their work with you. Remember, when we share, we feel happy, right? Looking at the response. So when you share, even your Auntie Ishita will be happy. So kindly do that for me and also for the kids and enjoy learning with each other, okay? And now let's quickly fill in the yellow color. And kids, whenever you are enjoying this video, kindly share the video. Also like the video. That way I will understand that you're liking this. And do leave me comments under the description or under the comment section. And mention your name, your age and from where are you looking at this video. I will feel happy reading about it. Okay.
so our yellow part is done I will now be proceeding with red color so let's quickly meet the red ones And kids do not forget that once you are done with this painting check out the description in under which I will be mentioning the link for the movie which is inspiring for this painting today okay so check that trailer of the movie and then you can ask your parents if they would like you to watch it if they do go ahead and watch it and have a fun session or fun Saturday okay I know it's boring for y'all as well so enjoy this good movie time. All right, so the red is done. Now let's take some green. Okay, my green is more like a yellow color. So let me just mix in a dark green and then take that. So this is a darker green. So I'm keeping back the light green color back into the bottle because the colors are very less we are not getting it anywhere so with dark green I'm making the balloons again All right, so we are almost done. So just look for the gaps and fill those in. And kids, once you are done with the painting, do share it on my Facebook page, which is Easy Paintings by Ishita, or on my Instagram page, uh, ask your parents to tag me as hashtag EZ paintings by Ishita so that I will get a notification and I can see your work okay and then I can share it on my video next video so till then if 
you are already my student i would love you all to ask your parents to send me your artwork so that i can put it on the next video so fill in in blue color now I'm trying to avoid to place blue color next to each other so I am just keeping a little distance between each blue so that it doesn't look like all together jumbled up. Almost done with the blue. And now the last color that is remaining is our orange color. So kids, this time when you will be sending me your painting, do give a big smile, okay? Because when you smile, Aunt Ishita smiles too. And I would love to see those smiling faces again. Alright? Don't forget. So almost done with orange and almost all of our balloons looks to be full with colors. Okay, I have left few ones. I'm just randomly picking a color and filling that balloon. So filled in pink here. So once all the coloring is done and dried, I'm now outlining each of the balloons. So kids, if you want, you can do this step or if you want, you can skip this. Okay, I am doing it because it will be more, it will look good on camera. If you want, you can skip this step. So once our balloon is all outlined, the last thing we will do is to make the threads, threads of the balloon getting into the chimney. So kids, just ask your parents if they have a thin tip pen. So you can pick up a blue pen or a black pen would be great. If you have a white, even better. but. I doubt if anybody has a white one so just pick up any thin ballpoint 
of any color to make the threads and if you all are not very comfortable making the threads as it has to be straight you can ask your parents to help you out Now I have outlined all of the balloons, we will make the thread. So till here we would like to make the thread. So start connecting the bottom. This is a part which is a bit tricky. You can have your parents do this part if you're not very comfortable. So parents with very gentle hands you have to make these thread with whatever color pen you have. So only till halfway you have to make these thread. And very gentle hands not very dark. And now I'm connecting the top balloons to the balloons under it. Just half of it. All right, so our painting is complete. So it's a flying house with so many balloons on it. I really loved the way it turned out, but I think the sky is looking very bland. So let me add maybe a heart to it and maybe write something nice or maybe make a smiley face. So making a heart and coloring it red And I'm thinking what to write under, maybe be happy or stay happy because I'm planning to put this painting on the door, on my door, so that when somebody passes by, they'll see and read be happy and smile. So maybe I'll write be happy or maybe I'll just make a smiley face. I think I'll just make a smiley face. So eyes, nose and beautiful eyelashes and a tongue or a smile, just a smile. All right, so today's painting is complete. I hope you loved making this as much love I felt while making it. 
so i hope yours turn out great as well so friends do share it out with me send me the picture of what you made and i'll be eagerly waiting to see it okay so stay indoors stay safe and keep smiling and wait for our next video next saturday at 3 p.m see you then bye-bye and also one more thing do like this video okay do share it with your friends as well and let them also enjoy like you are so kindly like comment and share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching easy paintings by ishita have a lovely day friends bye-bye